I made a little barrier. So it's like a little spider's web here and here. And then this is where humans can pass through and maybe cats can sit on the chairs. They haven't yet, but I just set it up. So who knows, they might do. And this little chair is really comfortable to just hang out with the doggos, but then there's also that chair and also that chair. So it's pretty easy to hang out with the dogs in this conservatory area. And I think this barrier will now give the dogs the message that they stay on that side and the cats stay on this side in the hallway. Um, I think that should help, hopefully. But at the moment, the cats really enjoy sitting in the kitchen and looking at the window here. Hey, Bailey, what are you looking at? Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, so this is the view out of the French doors. And the dogs can't get up here because it's there's no stairs yet. <laughs> so the cats feel relatively safe here and they just enjoy the view, which is pretty good. We are relaxing right next to the spiderweb chairs. <laughs> Eva is being adorable. She just wants to sit by me. It's so cute. Door is open, door is open, very chill. Smudgy is here. <laughs> this is a surprise. Smudgy is relaxing in the afternoon sun with us. Chill cat, very nice. So I'm really happy that and they can relax right next to each other. Smudgy does growl and hiss a little bit at the wolves when they get too close into her space. But that doesn't happen very often anymore. Hello, Eva. Hi, cutie. Yeah, so nearly sunset time. A little bit more, like maybe an hour or so. Smudgy's really passed out. I think it's because it's really warm today. And she has actually done quite a bit of hissing. <laughs> so, yeah, exhausting. I've done a lot of seedling work. I've transplanted a lot of these little seedlings over there. These guys, they need to go in the garden. They're very big. It's bell peppers and aubergines. And I think the pumpkin might be ready. It's still is kind of small, so I'll wait a bit. I've also got a couple more over on that windowsill over there. Yeah. Okay, Eva is still enjoying her little pets and Wilfred has come to hang out with us. Hey, Wilfred. <laughs> Hello. I brought them inside and I closed the door because they were barking at the neighbor dogs, but Smudgy doesn't mind. Very calm. So I'm really surprised how well these dogs are behaving. There they, there they are, sort of. Wilfred wandered off. <laughs> There's Eva. Hi, oh, Eva. Oh, she responds to her name, so clever. And Smudgy. I think you can hear the neighborhood dogs. They're still barking, but once these guys are inside, ah, where's Wilfred? There he is. Then they don't bark. Or at least not that much. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Oh, you're so cute, Eva. How pretty you are. You're so pretty. Oh, Wilfred, you're pretty too. <laughs> oh, so chill. Okay, we're here at the cat in Huskovo. Um, Simeon is with me, but he's outside smoking. And you can see how many cars there are at least seven in front of me, but it looks like we're all moving now. So fingers crossed, I'm gonna get new number plates today. Bulgarian number plates, eee. Okay, so this is the police station or traffic police station. And these are all the people's in line. It's more than seven cars. It's like, must be at least nine, maybe 10. So yeah, it's gonna be a pretty long day. This place is called Cat, and there you can see it written way down there, Cat. And I'm not really sure what that stands for, but everybody just calls it the Cat Office. They've opened that garage door now, and that is where they do the tests on the car to see if they are roadworthy. 
and you gotta have your basic stuff with you like first aid kit, fire extinguisher, things like that. Okay, so a little bit of a hiccup. Apparently today it's only a certain type of car like Audi and Mercedes. So that would really be a bit of annoyance because I am not an Audi and I'm not a Mercedes. <laughs> I need to come on a Fiat day. Um, yeah, so I don't know. Let's see. Simeon said he'll talk to the police guys. Um, he's busy walking down there, gone already. So let's see what they say. This line actually moved incredibly quickly. So there's only two cars in front of me now. Um, and about three cars behind me. And I think the reason for that might be that today is only a Audi and a Mercedes or, you know, fancy car day. <sighs> I really hope I can get it done today. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Okay, I'm across the road and now I'm gonna get an eco tax from here. And I think another sort of tax as well. So eco tax and some other tax it's happening today. So it's eco insurance and also just normal liability insurance. And I'm just across the road from the hook. There you can see the, um, there it is. That's where they're testing the cars. And uh, yeah, so it's just across the road. It's actually super easy to get two insurances. Normal liability and eco. And you can get a coffee at the same time. Oh yeah, and I'm doing it monthly. I think you can do it annually, but right now we're just kind of getting it done. Yeah. So it's definitely a good idea to come early. Because... <laughs> many people all of a sudden, so... I got here at 8 o'clock and that was a pretty good time. I recommend 8am arrival time here. They open at 8.30. So I'm back in my van and it's a little bit of a mess. I think if you have a normal car it would be easier, but see mine is a bit of a converted van. Um, you know, it's seen as a motorhome really. And this lady who was doing the insurance has to now check if it's a seven seater or something and that'll change the expense of the um, insurance. I mean, legally I'm only allowed to carry two people, the driver and one passenger because no seat belts back there. <laughs> so let's see what she says. Hmm. Okay, we're heading back to this is where you get your eco tax. Oops. And it's very easy. There's a crossing here. So usually the cars stop. No problem. There's my little banner. So we got insurance for three months and it cost 80 lever. And I'm not entirely sure if that is for a seven seat or not, but. <laughs> It's 80 lamps for three months, so yay. And uh, I'm not entirely sure if that's all the insurance or just one's insurance. <laughs> okay, here we are, giving in the documents. This is the document area to show that I am the owner of the vehicle. And that's about it, just to prove that it's my car. I just did the normal insurance and the normal insurance is uh, 80 lamps for three months for the bus and um, then I still need to do the vignette. And the vignette is the eco tax. So I only need to do those two. Done. Okay, feeling pretty good. So I've got the liability insurance done. And that took quite long, but that's just because my van is complicated because see, converted van complicated. So that was a little issue. It took about two hours just standing there and waiting for them to sort out whatever they were sorting out. I have no idea. But in the end, like I said, 80 lives for three months and that's just normal insurance. So that's way cheaper than Germany. It's gonna be, that's pretty good. Um, and I can only get the vignette. The vignette is the same as the eco tax. It's the same thing. And I can only get that after we've gone through this um, vehicle road safety check and once we've done that then i get the number plates and once i've got the number plates then i can get the vignette and the vignette is 97 laps for one year so yeah nearly there fingers crossed nearly there 
So it's half past 10 now. The cars just went around the corner here. I'm going to wait for this guy to go first. He's in line before me. And in the meantime, just look at these pretty paintings, which are kind of strange. And then we are going to drive up this ramp and that's where they have that garage and do the testing for if the car is uh, the car's road worthy. Um, I do have a coolant leak, so let's see if that's going to be okay. Coolant leak. <laughs> it used to be a small leak and now it's a big leak. And I meant to get it checked out, but then it looked like it had gone away. But now it's very apparent that it's back. So hopefully a coolant leak doesn't make the car road unworthy or dangerous. I don't think it does. We'll see. This is my beautiful road tax sticker. So I get to stick this on the windscreen to say that I've paid for some insurance. Okay, we're in the examination port. <laughs> Uh, this is gonna be interesting. They don't usually put the cars over this little crevice, so I guess vans are special. We'll see. Okay, so they're giving a Jade really good check over. They read her a number, little number, her silver plate number. Uh, they wanted me to open this door, but this door doesn't really open so good. <laughs> I think. I don't know how to lock it properly and then it gets locked permanently so this door is a little bit stuck but they don't mind and otherwise they just had a really quick look inside um they checked they checked this and they checked if i've got a fire extinguisher which is down there so that seemed to be okay yeah no problems they also checked this little label here it all seems okay but they definitely wanted to look under the hood. So I'm not sure what they're checking here. They're not here right now. I guess maybe they just had like a really quick look inside. Um, yeah, don't know, but it looks good. They're just doing the processing right now. Yeah, so it looks fine. I'm not really sure the last time anybody went down here because yeah, I don't think that's really used. But look at that cool old police bike. <laughs> That looks awesome. I think we're nearly done. They just stamped a whole bunch of paper. So looking good. Okay, great news. I don't have the number plates yet, but everything looks fine. Like they stamped a bunch of paper. <laughs> uh, I think Simeon is off looking for the number plates now. There he goes, looking for number plates. <laughs> Oi. Bye bye number plate. It's being re removed now. Okay, bye bye number plate. Oh, I really missed that number plate already. As you can see, that coolant leak is actually pretty bad. I just parked here a second ago and it's already going bye bye. I need to get to the garage. Beautiful number plate. I'm gonna miss you. Especially the two little dotties. Oh, bye. We're back here again. This is the place where you get number plates. So. You do your vignette here, you do your liability tax here, you get your number plates here, and this is just, I guess you can't see it now, but, oh, you sort of, there, there's the garage, and that's where I just came from, so it's all together sort of easy it just takes a long process but I'm pretty sure it's just because my van is a little bit special okay so this is not where we get the number plates this is just where we pay the eco tax which is the same as the vignette so I'm gonna have to pay that in a minute that's 97 less okay so this has been a very back and forth process so basically you start off over there and um, get your documents checked. I did that backwards actually, but you start off there, get your documents checked, and then you come over here, and then you pay your liability insurance. Then you go back over here, get your car checked, and then you come back over here, and then you get your eco tax, which is vignette. And apparently, then afterwards, we're going to go back there, and that is where we get the number plates. So, I think that should be it.
We're in a new place, but it is the same building. So same building, new room, very exciting stuff. Beautiful line of humans. And I have just found out that Ecotax is not vignette. It's very expensive. It was 370 uh, labs, and I think that's for one year. So I'd have to pay 370 labs for Ecotax every year. Um, that's because my van is old. Okay, update. So Ecotax is just upon purchase of a vehicle or re-registering it here, I suppose. So it's just a one-time cost. Phew. That's, thank goodness. Because there's 370 lives, so I don't want to be paying that every year. So it's just once, luckily. This is the window where the number plates get handed over. And they will be gone. Sad. But you get some new ones in exchange, I guess. We've gone to another special window. This one. The police officer picked us up from the other window, the previous one. And now we're here. I have lost count of how many windows we've been to or locations, all on the same or similar premises. It's all very interesting, but I'm getting a bit tired now. <laughs> it's, it's noon. We've been here since eight. Good news. I can sort of look through the window there next to me, the one that's been hit. <laughs> and I can see that he is sort of working on my documents. Update. We have now got an official number. It got stopped. And I th I think that... So we're back in this room and I think this is the window we're aiming for. Yeah, it looks like this is the window we're aiming for. So we were here before, but we didn't have the stamp number. So we had to go down the corridor, just that window behind this wall. Get the stamp number and now we're back here. So, pretty easy. So that's the police officer that was doing the stamp number for us. And he told us we actually need to be at this window. Not at this window. <laughs> So this has been quite a process. I'm just guessing what that police guy was checking for so long. I mean, it maybe took 15, 20 minutes. I was just a bit impatient. But I think he was maybe checking the old number plates to see if there were any fines or maybe stolen, who knows, whatever. Um, so I think that's what he was checking for. And anyway, so that's done now. Uh, now we are, we're waiting again. We've just been at that window over there. And she took some papers and... Oh, she also took the number plate. This is a good sign. <laughs> it's a happy Jade. <laughs> Jade is gonna keep Jade's name, but new numbers.